I want to go to uh, five degrees of flight path data, I'm going to hold the side stick, command the side stick here only with the finger, just to show the kind of inputs that uh, the pilot actually has to do. So I'll just push over a little bit and release. And it, if I feel that it's a little bit below five, so I give another input in the other direction. And this is how we do the small inputs and the rest, the fly-by-wire works. The pilot doesn't have to constantly be holding because it won't be leaving the, whatever he selected. And also the uh, capturing, capturing new, uh, uh, new flight path angles are also are very simple. And the airplane also goes through a certification process in which we have to demonstrate that, that it's uh, free of PIOs and things like that and uh, undesired oscillations. Uh, um, if I level off here, for example, if I want to level off, I'll just pull back a little bit of the throttle and put it over the horizon line, and we've got a level. One interesting thing that we already have from the 170, and I like a lot, of, I don't know if it's new for anybody here, but it's the flight path angle uh, indication. I think it's a lot better flying with this than, than trying to fly pitch. If you want a level flight, you just put it over the horizon, and the flight director is based on the flight path angle as well. So you're going to be always following a flight director that actually shows what you're doing. Uh, Fabrizio talked about uh, a turn, a level turns that you don't have to pitch the, the, the airplane to, to hold the, the altitude. So if I turn here, I'm only putting a lateral input, and I go to wherever I want. It's close to 30, it makes all the compensations. If I want to make any any small small adjustment, like I want wings level again, all I have to do is just small inputs, find what I want, and release it again. Uh, the maximum roll that it does that is 33 degrees. If I go above 33 degrees, you see that the nose will start going down. See? It's going down. Okay. Above 33 degrees, okay. I have to pitch the nose to hold the level flight. Uh, and at any point, if I, okay. I'm above 33 degrees, okay. I release the side stick. Somebody asked about uh, if it's spring loaded to neutral. So it always, so all you have to do is always release the side stick. It's, it's really easy. Like for example, you want to turn back to level flight, you bring it really quick and release it. And you release, you use some small inputs to get the whatever you want. Another thing is, uh, Fabrice also talked about is that uh, if I want to, uh, in this situation here for example, I can roll the plane all the way on a 360 roll. roll. Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. We don't consider that this by itself is something dangerous. But of course, if I go into high speed, and I'll show you later, if I go into high speed, I can't do that anymore because the plane will be, uh, since, since the plane it, uh, protects the, the, the fly-by-wire, protects the airplane from high speed, it has to be able to pitch up. And to pitch up, we need at least uh, close to wing level situation. So if I'm on a 90 degree turn, there's no way that the airplane can protect the airplane. The fly -by -wire. So it, it commands a roll towards wing level and pulls up even if I'm trying to hold it in the opposite direction. Uh, if I, in this situation here, for example, there's an airplane right in front of me, a glider I didn't know about, it, I, I can react just pulling it back uh, in, uh, all, all the way to the back, and I see here 2.4 Gs, so it's the maximum is 2.5 Gs. So the, play, the, the pilot doesn't have to uh, be worried if he's going to go to four or five G's and break the wings, things like that. And if if we were in low speed, it's the same thing. It'll be either protected from from load factor or from high angle of attacks. Since I talked about high speeds, uh, I'll, I'll show you a little bit of high speed protection. So in this case here, I pitched I pitched over and let it go down. Let's see what happens. Once it goes over VMO, you can see that I'm hands off, and this is no autopilot. There's no autopilot here. This is the fly-by-wire system protecting the airplane from from high speeds. 
if I if I want to repeat that, and it will slowly. Uh, I'll, uh, I'm just uh, trying to gain some time, but it would slowly bring the speed back to below 320 knots. If if we do the same thing again, and in this case, I'm going to leave some bank angle to see what happens. So let's put it down here with with bank angle. Hands hands off again. Heading, heading VMO, went to wings level, and is pulling back, protecting the airplane. If we do that once again, and I'll be trying to hold the bank angle at a, around 90 degrees bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. Okay, here we go. Bank angle. Okay, we're going to try to bank hold angle. it here. Bank angle. 90 degrees. Bank angle. Bank Let's angle. See what's going to happen. Bank angle. Bank angle. Okay, bank 320. Angle. I'm even pulling the side stick all the way to the right. It only gives me 33 degrees of bank. So whenever I hold maximum side stick, it'll uh, in high speed situation, it only lets me go to 33 degrees of bank. So uh, this is also something that we consider is really nice uh, related to the. Uh, no hard limits for pitch and roll. We also like that due to uh, abnormal attitude recovery. Uh, in, a, in an airplane, for example, that has these kind of limitations, the procedures for an abnormal attitude uh, recovery is different in normal mode or in direct mode. In this airplane, it's always the same, and it's the same as we learned in the Cessna 172. So, you know, if you're if you have nose eye and nose really high, you're going to put 90 degrees bank and bring it down to the horizon. If you're in, in nose down, you're going to obviously try to go to wings level and pull back. The procedure is always the same. Uh, a nice, a nice thing. I don't know if people have talked about here in this airplane since. Of course, it's a design that is more uh, up to date, and we can take credit of more technology. It has more redundancy, also, as an Airbus or even as a, a Falcon 7X, and that means that either you're in normal mode and you have everything, or you're in direct mode and you're flying a conventional airplane. There's no alternate mode, no normal mode without protection, or direct mode with some protection. It's, the pilot only has to know two things, it's either he has it or he doesn't. And this, this is a little bit of our philosophy of trying to keep the airplane simple.